Uh, following on from our last uh, lesson, we're going to look at doing this exercise here where we're actually going to put the hatch patterns into our floor plan. So as you can see, we've already got our furniture blocks in here and our windows and doors as we did previously. So first thing we'll do is we might put in some tiling in this uh, laundry area and this bathroom area. So to do that, we type BH for BH and we bring up our uh, hatch window. So let's click on the swatch and we'll go to ANSI tab and we're going to select on ANSI 37 and click OK and we're going to rotate it 45 degrees so it's straight up and down and we're going to pick a point. As you can see we've picked a point there, I'm just going to preview that. It's very dense, as you can see it's like a solid block. Um, let's try making that 100 and preview. That's a bit better, maybe we'll make that a little bit smaller, maybe 50. Okay, we'll click OK for now, so that way we set our settings. But as you can see that's not ideal, it's not what we want at all. Um, it's going right through to the door here and it hasn't covered this part here, so let's select the hatch and type E for erase and we'll erase it. I'm also going to change my layer to uh, hatch floor finishes. Now I'm on that layer. I'm going to draw a line here on the door or the threshold and I'm going to do the same uh, here. I might actually do it from here to here and then maybe one from here to here. Okay. Now we'll type BH again for BH and we'll bring up our uh, hatches that we did previously and all the settings for what we did last time will already be preset because we clicked OK. So now we're going to click on uh, pick points again. We'll click here and here and now press space or enter and click OK and we have our hatch. Okay now we've got the toilet to do so we'll again we'll draw another line from here to here for our threshold. Type BH again. Click on pick points. Click here and here. Now, you're going to notice here, I'm glad this has happened so I can show you. If I preview that, oh no, it's actually gone through right around. I was thinking there that this uh, hatch may have gone right through the toilet. Sometimes that happens in AutoCAD. Um, it looked like it was going to happen. I'll click OK. Uh, that's fine. But if I just erase that and go back again, when I clicked pick point, as you can see the boundary went right around. It didn't seem to go around the toilet. Sometimes that happens. And if that happens, I'm just going to click OK on this. Um, what we sometimes need to do is draw a polyline right around our and trace right around our toilet or the obstruction that's causing it to go right through. And then what we would do is, going back to B hatch, is we select an object and use and then we would select the polyline um, as our boundary and that would stop that from going through the object. So we can just cancel out of that because that actually has done that correctly. I didn't think it would but and we'll draw another line here. Okay, for another threshold, I type B hatch or B H or B hatch. Click another point, and the boundary is correct. Uh, click OK. Oh, we've missed the door. Now, if we miss the door, what we can do is we can select the um, the hatch and right click, bring up our menu, and then left click on hatch edit, and then we can go back to pick points and add at that point, press space and enter and enter. Uh, actually, I'm not too happy with the alignment of these hatches. So I'm going to right select the hatch and right click again, go back to hatch edit. And at the bottom of this window, I'm going to click new origin point. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to click in the middle of that threshold and then click OK. And as you can see, the, the, um, the first grout line is right centered in the middle of that door. I'm happy with that. Um, might do that here as well. And we can do that here. Select hatch, right click, click on hatch edit, then we click new origin point. And that's all set. Now I believe in terms of the floor finishes, tiled areas, that's all we need on the ground floor. Um, what we can do now as well is we can actually put in the hatch for our uh, brickwork. Now this wall here is apparently just showing a red line which is indicating our brickwork and the brown line showing our timber stud wall. Um, what we would need to do is offset um, 
this line to show the thickness for the cavity of this wall. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to offset O and I'm going to offset 110. That's 110 millimeters thick for the brick. And I'm going to offset in all of these red lines. We'll clean it up a bit later. So we'll just go around. And we're just doing this so we'll have an area to hatch for our brickwork. Um, come back to that in a moment. This wall here, well actually we'll make that brick as well, but this wall here is actually double brick. So, well, we all need a cavity too, so we'll do that. Uh, Alright. Okay, done that. That wall. I think we're nearly there. And yep, we're there. Okay, so we're going to press escape to get out of that command. And we're going to type F for fillet. Make sure we type R and make sure our fillet is zero. So type zero and express enter. And we're just going to fill it around these corners. So clean that up a bit. You could also extend and trim if you wanted to, but fillet's probably the best thing for what we're doing right now. Um, now this is a bit tricky here. Got two bits there. Uh, okay, now nah, we'll fill it to there. Right, and bring this line down. Okay, and fill it over here. Actually, we'll delete this line and fill it to there. Oh, there we go. And actually, we need to offset here again, and we'll extend that down to here. Uh, actually we might just cut this looking at it to here and trim and match properties all right what about up here we don't up here nope. so we'll fill up that okay fill it here done that Okay, and I think that's the last one that we need to tidy up. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our B hatch, B H, B hatch. Press space or enter. We're going to click on our swatch again, and we're in anti tab, and we're going to click anti 32 because this is the standard, at least in Australia, um, for a brickwork uh, hatch that you denote. So we're just going to left click in there, and you can see we've got some problems here. Uh, these red lines popping up saying that there's a problem with the uh, what's re regen RE um, that the hatch is having trouble working at the the boundary so I'm just going to type B hatch again um, also I want to change that 45 back to 0 and click there we go uh, seems to be a problem if I click on there does that work? that's working for some reason there's a problem with the red so we're going to fill it again and we'll delete that hatch I was just having a look to see if it was going to work and this time it seems to be working so right and right click hatch edit change that swatch back to ANSI32 because I didn't change that properly and as you can see now we have our brickwork um, hatch that we want so we can go around and continue to do that around. So BH, and we can do a few things. There we go. We don't need to just do one, but uh, it's having trouble with the boundaries at the moment. And I think the reason being is because this red line here, they are touching. But I'm just going to fill those. Um, shouldn't really be an issue, but you never know. The hatch in AutoCAD has been pretty terrible from day one. Um, well, I think back to the first releases they ever had of Hatch on uh, Windows versions of AutoCAD before that was on DOS. Uh, hatch then I thought was pretty pretty ordinary and look we've come well about 17 years from then 
when that first came came out, and it's really, really not that much better at all. Um, let's put some lines in here and match properties. We'll copy that line over here. As you can see, we've got a bit of a gap. And all right, um, we'll fill it here. This should fix the problem. Yeah, as I said, you never really know what's going to happen with AutoCAD Hatch. It's really luck of the draw half the time. Um, it's got a long way to go to improvements with the detecting boundaries and so forth. Sometimes you can be quite lucky, but I don't ever seem to be. <laughs> and, okay. So I'll go back down here. I think we've done everything. Type BH or BH again. Pick a point and still having troubles. Sometimes there's a little trick. If you zoom right in, B hatch, and see, that seems to be working now. Um, another thing you might notice too is, for some reason, it's defaulted back to ANSI 37. Uh, we can also inherit properties from a previous hatch, so click on this button down here, inherit properties, click on the previous hatch, and click OK, and as you can see, it's done it. Now we'll type B hatch again, and again, a closed boundary could not be determined. Okay, so if I click in, see, I've zoomed right in now, and it's made a difference. So it's, and here again, it's very strange like that with AutoCAD. This time it's not finding a boundary. Okay, so we'll just press space and enter. Very frustrating that you just want to go around and just hatch something, but these little red lines generally say that there's a problem with a gap or something like that, but I don't think there is a gap there because we did actually fill up these already. So I'm going to type R re regen to get rid of those red circles. Back the B hatch. And again, close boundary can't be found. So now, this is what I was saying before with the toilet area. It did actually work in the toilet, but for some reason it can't find a boundary. So a way around that now is I'm going to type REC for rectangle. Press space or enter, and I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to type B hatch or B hatch and then select object and space and enter. And it worked. Now I can delete that boundary. I shouldn't really have to do that, but as I said, you know, the hatch in AutoCAD is pretty crappy. So I'm going to try and pick a point again. Let's work that time. Let's work that time. Um, here we go. See how we go. Oh, that's actually worked. And there's worked. Because you should technically be able to hatch quite a lot of areas in one go. And now it seems to be working okay. Alright, so all those hatches will be joined to the same hatch now. So I select that, select all that that we just did in one go. So that's our brickwork hatch. I uh, believe that's all we're going to need to hatch on the ground floor. Can't see anything else in there that we need to hatch. Uh, no, that looks about it. So that's the sort of um, end of the exercise there for hatching on our ground floor plan and we'll do the similar techniques in that when we get to our first floor plan um, it'll be a lot easier and we'll be a bit quicker I think once we do our first floor plan as we've already gone through a lot of these things so I'm going to leave that there and we'll move on to the next lesson